Hi there friends and welcome to my basic science guide for Dyson Sphere program. My name is Icon and this video will guide you through the basic mechanics of science. We will talk about the labs, how science is calculated and how these cubes work in detail. So I would like to start out with the numbers here and then we're going to talk about the rest step by step. So science is going to be conducted uh, in form of this diagram here. So every single technology is composed of a cost and a result, of course. But if you haven't unlocked a technology, it'll look like that. You will have a number of consumption units and you will have a data volume. So what does all that mean? So to research the ray receiver technology, if you mouse over these thingies, you see what they do. You need to invest 600 blue cubes and uh, 600 red cubes, and they will together produce a data volume of 108k hashes. Sounds all very strange, but it all makes it'll all make sense in a minute. So, these cubes are being produced and also being consumed by matrix labs. One matrix lab can either be a consumer or a producer. Matrix labs can be configured here for either research or the production of the respective cubes. If you set it up for research, it turns into a factory that consumes these thingies. And if you put it into production, you have to select which cube. Let's say we want to produce a blue cube here. It turns into a machine that produces these things. You have here a pretty exact readout. You need one coil and one circuit board and three seconds of time to produce one cube. So that means this factory produces a third of a cube per second. So three of them will produce one cube per second, but how many how many cubes will you need? You might ask yourself. It's pretty simple, but for that, we're going to walk over to my first laboratory I built in this game and it's going strong until this very day. So. Here we have the laboratories. They, these are my consumers. They are connected to a belt of blue cubes, a belt of red cubes, and a belt of yellow cubes. They are coming along rather slowly. So if you click in here, you see every production, every research cycle consumes these cubes. These cycles here, every cycle lasts three seconds. So basically a laboratory will consume one cube per three seconds. So that means one third of a cube per second. Also, every one of these laboratories is able to produce 60 hashes per second. As you might have already have noticed here, these are stacked on top of each other. Yes, that's a thing. You are able to stack them. And I'd say that's one of a, one of a specialty moves of Dyson Sphere program. So what does that do? A stacked laboratory basically works like, this here works like three laboratories at once. It consumes the triple amount, and if you triple stack it like this, it also consumes the triple amount. So uh, it also produces the triple amount, sorry. So you can this way increase your production and your consumption at the same time. So you will have to pay attention to the following things. Each level of the laboratories will consume one third of a cube per second. So you have to adjust your your productions accordingly. So this small array here consists of six levels or six laboratories. So we will produce or we will consume six times one third of a cube per second makes two cubes per second. So this construction here will eat up two cubes per second. So this way you can easily calculate your your arrays. Also by knowing that every lab produces 60 hashes per second, you can easily understand what these numbers here want to say and want to tell to you. So 180k hashes are just, well, Divide that by 60 and then you know how many cycles of production that'll need. Exactly 600. So that's all that's behind there. Basically, you're also quite good at off with ignoring that number and just following the cubes. So with the cubes, it's a little bit dif more difficult. I want to talk about their ratios here as well for a second. So the blue cubes are pretty easy to calculate because they are just the same ratio as the consumption, basically. You you produce one in th three seconds, you consume one in three seconds, all good. 
But with these guys, things are a little bit more complicated. The red ones, you produce one sixth per second. So you will need six laboratories just to produce one red cube per second. So this array I have shown you uh, a moment ago, let's go there, would need 12 labs to feed that array because six lab labs produce one cube per second, another six labs would produce the two. So I think you get the idea. Here you have a ratio of one eighth. So you would need eight laboratories to produce one cube per second. So 16 were, would be necessary. And the ratios climb a little bit like, uh, climb on like that. Where was the guy? I wasn't, uh, not that deep down in this run here but you see here the next one the purple ones are one tenth and the game really doesn't make it easier for you the the further you go down the road so the green cubes the they are one twelfth because you will receive two per 24 seconds so it's all like that and i think this is all you need to know except for one thing while other buildings when they are stacked are able to accept items from upper levels via belts connected more um, on, on higher levels. With the laboratories, you, if you might be able to notice it here, they have their loader ports only at the bottom side. So you won't be able to feed in materials from any other pl um, spot there. So that's worth mentioning. Okay, so there's not much more to science in this game except for the fact that you have to produce lots of it. And the deeper you do go down the road, the more you will need of them accordingly to what we have learned here. So I hope that was helpful for you and I'll leave the video here because we want to keep things short and crispy. So leave a comment down below if there are any questions open or if you think I have forgotten something really important, just wail away. A like or a subscribe to the channel would be deeply appreciated if you want to support the project a little bit more. Also, check out the channel if you might want to see some more building games, sandbox games. Well, I'm all down to that. See you guys then. Bye-bye.